We'll see Scott Cartage go up against Tony Walker, and Scott Cartage taking a huge horsepower advantage into this one <laughs> yeah. over Tony Walker. But he is the local lad in that BMW E30. Let's see what happens. Yeah, Scott Carlidge with that Turbo V8 against the NA V8 of uh, Tony Walker. But Tony Walker still not afraid to try and chuck it on the door. That big R33 is on a very, very wide, high line there. Scott Cartledge absolutely screaming down. Lovely line as he flips on clip four. Nice run so far from Scott Cartledge. Tony Walker not doing a very bad job in chase position. And there you go. Scott Cartledge using every inch of that track right yeah. out onto the concrete to make sure he's on that perfect wide line and smokes out Tony Walker, who almost gets stuck in the smoke <laughs> as they come across the line. And for me, I think Tony Walker, you know, what is very good about that run for me was that Tony Walker easily could have taken the lower line in the bank yeah, yeah. because he has the slower car, but he actually stayed high, and that's what the judges tell the guys to do. Exactly. If, you're, if you're not close, stay on the qualifying line. You will score points. The advantage, sure, to Scott Cartledge, who's gained that gap, yeah. but at the same time, you can see Tony Walker probably just a little out card, yeah, I, I yeah. would say, to be honest. And that's going to happen a little bit in the top 32, yeah. where you see some of these guys, you know, he's in a borrowed car. It's not up to the spec of the when he's building, he's here to have a bit of fun. He's qualified, but I definitely think that he's under maybe a little bit of pressure, you know, to try and stay with Scott Cartage. But now Scott Cartage has to stay as close as possible. We are back to the start line. No, I'm no, seeing. No, we're no, not back to the start no, line just yet. I said we have a blind uh, view of the yeah. start line. Here we go, back to the start line. It. We have a blind view. We're watching the screen for the start line and the track <laughs> in front of us for the rest of it. So bear with us. Okay, so Scott Cartage now, faster car, turboed V8. Yeah. Has to try and put it on the door of Tony Walker to force the issue here to get himself into top 16, but can't make that big a mistake here. So here we go. Yeah, nice entry there from Tony Walker. Not a lot of use of the handbrake, giving uh, Scott Cartledge Look the opportunity. Look at Cartledge, giving Cartledge the chance now to push right up on the door. Very, very good chase run so far from uh, Scott Cartledge. Tony Walker doing a very, very good job in league position, though, running that perfect qualifying uh, line that judges was asking for. Again, the, this goes back to the line, you know, this is all about the line. Look at Cartledge, though, making, forcing himself yeah. into an error. And you know what he did? He, I mean, he stayed way too close to the inside of the corner there, and for me, he made an error because he yeah. couldn't get into the clipping zone. He should have followed Tony Walker where he was going, but he tried yeah. to cut the course, and, you know, a couple of errors on both sides there. Yeah. So this will be an interesting call for the judges. I'm not too sure if they're going to look at it from a very straight up angle here and say, you know, Cartledge having that advantage maybe from the first run. But yeah. um, let's see what way they go. So we go to our first judge, Ryan. My vote is Scott Cartledge. One vote for Scott Cartledge and Wes. My vote is with Scott Cartledge. It's, it's completely, completely fixed. fixed. 